KUIWI fam. Eric again here from Justice for Youth, hailing from the city of Pomona. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about healing the father wound in gang affiliated students that you serve and mentor and disciple. Um, as youth workers, man, we have a high responsibility. Um, our work is very important. And I think uh, understanding that this generation is fatherless and constantly working against different obstacles and challenges in the urban context, like gangs that are constantly trying to recruit students um, as we are trying to do the same thing. So I wanna help you understand your role as a youth worker in the healing of the students that you serve, particularly with fatherless students who are gang affiliated. We're gonna go through several stages as um, youth workers and students, and I kinda wanna unpack some of those with you. Um, being in this understanding stage is very important. In the book of Proverbs, specifically in uh, chapter 14, verse 29, it talks about how important understanding is. And I think as youth workers, understanding your own wound, if you have that father wound, is hugely important. And then understanding the wound of your student is equally as important. And you're going to be doing a lot of exploration in this stage, a lot of observation, a lot of learning of your student's specific story and understanding their background and some of the issues that they've had to struggle through as a result of the absence of a father. Male and female, every student suffers in a different way. And I think in this stage, you're wanting to consider a lot of the causes and the effects of this father wound in them. Moving out of that understanding and exploration stage between you and the student, you then move into the understanding stage to assist the student themselves to really get um, what's really happening in them and to really dive deeper into um, what are those causes effects and how have they materialized in their own lives. So bringing that understanding to the student themselves in this stage, you're really working a lot of methodology and you're a strategist in this stage. So you're going to be trying different things to help uh, your male or female student have that light bulb moment. You're going to want to try different strategies and methods to get them to connect dots and puzzle pieces and start understanding why do they act a certain way? <laughs> why are some of these behaviors becoming realities? And what's the issue with the anger and the attitude at times and where that stems from? So understanding that wound is really important. Moving to the stage where we're going to now kind of work as a healer is kind of what kind of that comes next, right? Kind of naturally. After the understanding, we want to work to heal. In this stage, you're practicing. You're starting to kind of chip away and get in the, the heavy lifting and the grinding with your student to offer them these strategies and then work these strategies, right? Offer them these methods and now work these methods with them hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder. There's going to be good times of victory, right? And then there's going to be these very low times where there's these feelings of abandonment and pain. Specifically with the gang affiliated student, the John 15, 13 approach is really good in this stage because they value the laying down of one's life, right? So it's like one of the biggest um, medals of honor for them to die for their neighborhood or to die for their set, right? Like being in a funeral setting where everyone's wearing a t-shirt that says RIP with your hood colors is maybe one of their fantasies at times, right? And here, this is where you really get to model what it looks like to lay down your life for a student. Like, hey bro, even though you may not be understanding this, even though you may not be getting this, I'm willing to walk with you through this and help you understand this at a deep level and then help you grow from this and heal from this. Moving out of that healing stage, you're going to want to teach them how to live with this wound. Um, I think you're going to be doing a lot of modeling and coaching at this time. For them, that's challenging because in the urban setting, in order to do this successfully, you often have to eliminate distractions. So for gang affiliated teens, they're limited in where they go and how far they're actually disconnected from their neighborhood. Many of them have not really been able to travel outside of a certain block or vicinity. Uh, but at this stage, I really want to encourage you to remove them from their context. 
remove them from their natural settings so you can eliminate distractions and you can teach them that life can go on, life can continue. They can actually find hope, joy, peace in an intimate relationship with Jesus. And they see that in your daily life and your daily interactions. And they'll hear that through your professing of your faith. Um, and for many of us like me, I come from that background. So for me, being able to walk out of that lifestyle and, and denounce my neighborhood and be able to still um, live successfully and associate with my family who's still affiliated, right? Um, but still kind of have my own identity in Christ. That's been very important. And I want to give you a little story about how that has really helped change some of the lives of the students I lead. There's this one student, her name is Brianna. Uh, she's originally from the LB from Long Beach, and she ended up landing in Pomona. Uh, during her time there, we butt heads at first when she was kind of coming around to some of the community events that we were leading as an organization. But I kept being persistent and I kept inviting her to things. She finally took me up on one of the offers and she came to an influence night, one of our leadership expressions. While there, she saw me lead in a, in a context that was different and new for her. She was connected to other people that were positive voices in her life. And that kind of started the process for her through the modeling and coaching of myself to see like, hey, there's another story uh, that could be developed in her life, right? There's another page that she could turn to and start writing. I'm happy to say that Brianna over this last year has been able to leave her neighborhood and no longer bang her set. She's been able to graduate high school and coming up in a few weeks here, I'm going to be celebrating uh, her graduation. I'm going to be present in that moment. Uh, so I'm just really thankful that God has chose to really save her and rescue her from her situation and give her a new identity in him. Seeing Brianna be able to kind of walk away from that lifestyle was uh, very fulfilling for me. Um, not only did we help her to understand that she could live with this wound and still be successful and not let it define her, um, we also have really invited her to lead from that wound. In doing so, we have been more of an empowerer and a platformer in that stage. We've taught her and modeled for her that she could use that very story of fatherlessness to impact and touch and bless many other students like her. Uh, and it's been awesome to be able to see her tell her story on stage and to come with us to some of the neighborhoods that we minister to and be able to just assimilate and be able to quickly default to that wound and that story. Uh, for her, she holds it with pride and she understands now that God, her heavenly father, is redeeming that story and that brokenness. Ephesians 4 verses 1 uh, verses 11 through 13 talks about how God gave many of us these different gifts, right? And Brianna really has so many of those gifts and it's awesome to see how God is using her in this next generation to become somebody who makes disciples who shares the gospel and who's able to speak about a heavenly father who could interrupt that cycle of fatherlessness and redeem stories for the hope that is in Christ. And for us, that's the greatest reward. So I just want to encourage you to keep mentoring students that are gang affiliated, keep chipping away and helping them heal from those wounds and watch God do amazing things in their lives.